we gonna go up here. I'm sorry. It's right here. I think we're gonna talk about it. Yes, do it. Yeah. So Angelica Ross, because the new season of American, let's let's take this down first and then okay. put it back up there. All right, no problem. All right. So the new season of American Horror Story has came out. Amer A A H A H S Delicate has came out with Kim Kardashian and um Emma Roberts and all of this shit. So I didn't understand what was going on at first because because okay, all right. So I'm gonna spill some tea. Okay. Angelica and I had been talking about this for years. Um you mean I, about what we just about on? this, yes. Oh we okay. have been Angelica and myself have been talking about this whole thing for years, like with <laughs> Going on with the spirit. I don't know. I just saw, I just heard her bust out laughing. And Angelica and I have been talking about this whole thing for years. Like uh, she had said to me um, in private, you know, now that all this shit is done hit the fan. Well, she had talked to me about this stuff in private. I remember when she was doing American Horror Story, uh, AHS 1984, and um, we were talking, and I said. Um, I told her how good I thought that she did in AHS 1984. And I said, Angelica, I want you to tell Ryan Murphy that I want him to go back and do Coven, but I want him to take it from the Black Witch's perspective. Mm. And she was like, oh, yes. Like, let's like, and I said, when y'all do do this, bitch, don't play with me. Call me so I could come be a voodoo high priestess. She was like, yes, girl, yes. So she texted me and showed me where she had a whole conversation. Like, what well, this was way before this was even put out. Where she had a whole conversation with Ryan, you know, telling Ryan, hey, um, let's do a season of black about the black witches. And he was like, remember, he she brought it to his attention. Cause I was like, girl, we need to like girl, just. Bitch, hit! I want to come through, bitch, with a with a sickening headdress, bitch. I want to be, you know, you know. And she was like, "Yes, girl." We had talked about this way, like this was a this was during American Horror Story, nineteen eighty four. Now I'm not gonna be real deep on AHS because AHS had reached out to me. Um, one time I was at where we was at, Mo, in L.A. It was either yeah, I think we were in LA. We were in LA. I was in LA working on a project, and <laughs> American Horror Story reached out to me for this news. Not this. Not it was LA. It, it was, was in LA. LA. It was LA. Yeah. And American Horror Story reached out to me to come, you know, to to read. But I was working, and see, my thing is with this type of stuff is like people will get get me in the middle of like I'm working, I'm on a gig, I'm filming some other stuff. Like, like i and this is FYI. If there's anybody out there who is Watching me, that all because I know y'all do. Don't hit me up when y'all know you child. Hit me up in advance, <laughs> cause I'm all I'm booked. So y'all always got to hit me in advance, cause bitch, I have obligations that I can't just drop drop a contract and be like, okay, let me run down here, and yes. you know, jump on this, you know. So I had read for some parts for um, um uh, American Horror Story NYC. I didn't know it was NYC at the time because when they contacted me, they disguised themselves as something else. Because, you know, Ryan Murphy is real, real, real meticulous about, um, you know, how the seasons of American Horror Story come out. So Legger called me. I was working and Legger called me. She said, bitch, are you, <laughs> are you sitting down? I was like, girl, what's the tea? She said, girl. I'm going to send you these sides. I need you to read these sides. I need you to record it. Mo, there was the, did you help me record that? Yeah. I'm going to need you to record you, these things. You recorded it about at least a good five, 50, 50, 11 times. Basically. But I was like, like they needed the shit back in the, in the, in the, in like an hour. Right. Or, and you or, were still getting ready for, to do another to, to do another job. Right. And so the legger was like, bitch, I need for you to motherfucking come. Then I was like, and in my brain, I was like, what is this? Like, what is it? And then it came back. Legra was talking to them and shit like that. Um, and she uh, uh, was talking to them. And then she was like, girl, it's American Horror Story, bitch. Bitch, they want you to come do, they want you to be on American Horror Story. 
And so I was like, oh my God. And immediately it clicked in my brain that it was uh it was black witches, like immediately. Like it, it was the black witch thing that they were talking about because um my thing is Angelica and I had been talking about, had been talking about, I was like, oh shit, it's really done popped off. So when I seen this, I just was like, go, go ahead and put it up here. Put it back up here. You know, I was like, oh shit. And mind you, she sent me the text messages and stuff like the communication that she's had with Ryan and Ryan had a, Ryan Murphy did agree that he was going to do that season. And then she did like this whole thing where, where she was, um, uh, getting ready to do something um for marvel you said they already continue covering it was a, no we no sweetie we were talking about the black witches we we're talking about the black witches we weren't talking about that we were talking about the black witches okay <clears throat> and so we were uh when angelica posted this stuff i was like oh shit you know what I'm saying? Like, oh shit, girl, this is me. I may read a bitch down to the floor, right? And these are my two cents. I may read a bitch down to the ground. One thing I learned, my lesson was during that time when me and Kaya had that deal with me, it was me, Kaya, Nicki Minaj, and all this stuff. And I came trying to prove myself to like, girl. Don't act like this wasn't a real thing that we was really doing a real thing with this Queen's Court shit and whatever. You know, Nikki was involved. A production company was involved. Like, we was getting ready to do this thing, how it was supposed to be done. Like, and the contracts came over, which I still have those contracts in my phone that she did sign, that she ran out there and told the people that she don't, she didn't want to sign. Bitch, I, I didn't forge this. This is your signature. You signed this. You know, when the contracts and stuff came over or whatever. But I learned my lesson about trying to prove that stuff and laying that stuff on the front like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not doing any of that type of shit no more. But Angelica says that she's done with Hollywood after this. That's and that's what it's saying? Yep. Angelica Ross says she's leaving Hollywood and she shares, shares a message to folks to say she's looking for her share, uh, 15 minutes of fame. What does it say? For the folks who haven't put it together yet, I'm leaving Hollywood. There are multiple articles that will be coming out detailing this. So I suggest that you and your face play nice because I'm a black trans woman with nothing to lose. Candy was born from my body. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Um, love the folks talking about me looking for 15 minutes of fame. Girl, my first Emmy nomination was in 2016. I'm a globally recognized human rights advocate. I don't need fame, honey. Y'all can keep that. Um... I got a murder. We got to close that door. I have to applaud, you know, my sister for standing up. Like, because if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything, you know? And I have to applaud my sister um, for standing up for, you know, for speaking out against things that she said that was wrong against her. Uh, Ryan did not. Brian chose to move on, you know, with the with something else um, and didn't, you know. Take the black, the coven, the black witch coven thing up, Ryan decided to move on and go, go, go somewhere else with it, you know, so whatever. But I, I, I applaud for her for standing up in the space of like, if you because this is the way I feel, right? Um, this is the way I totally feel right here. Even online, when I get online and I give 150% of me and y'all be telling me, oh, you know, Madison, you got to watch this because this this will mess your bag up, this or this and the other. I'm going to be me wherever the fuck I go. You feel me? Wherever I go, I'm going to be me. And what I'm going to never do is, is sacrifice me to be in a motherfucking space where a bitch going to disrespect me. You understand what I'm saying? Ain't going to happen like that. Now, I have toned down a lot of things where I don't really be going for the juggler like I used to, but I still go for the juggler just in motherfucking case a bitch forgot. You, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm not going to try to 
being myself and do all this stuff. Any any any, any space I have occupied in Hollywood, I have been 115,000% myself. I go on set letting a bitch know. I came here to do my motherfucking job. Whatever you might have seen of me on the internet, it's true. Bitch, you may get your shit bust. You may get your feelings hurt. I may cuss you out. I may read your kids, your mom, and all this stuff. But I will only do that if you try me first. Other than that, I'm here to do my job and do my business and do my do my whatever. But, bitch, none of that shit scared me. I'm not afraid of losing none of that fucking shit either because, bitch, whatever I, whatever I lost, God will give it back to me 50, 11 times. You know what I'm saying? Especially with somebody's disrespect to me or I feel like that, you know, that my that my that my sanity, that my dignity or anything have been compromised because, bitch, you know, I got to be into the wheel of. That's why when hoes be on the Internet right now talking about how they're going to get me canceled and all this stuff. Puss ass hoes suck my ass, bitch, and my motherfucking dick. Because, bitch, if you hoes try me, bitch, you're going to get your shit motherfucking handed back to you. And I don't give a fuck who watching. That go for VH1, MTV, BBC, any motherfucking place I ever worked at. <laughs> you know the type of bitch you dealing with when you start fucking with me. I'm a don't fuck with me and you won't get fucked with type person. That's how it works. So I personally think that it was brave of Angelica to do that. Because, you know, I learned early on, like, don't share contracts and don't share that stuff unless it's unless it's up. You feel me? So yeah. obviously, obviously, for her to do all of that stuff, it was it's really up. Right. There's no coming back. Man. Ain't no coming back from that. It's really up. Up, up. <laughs> um, and so you know. I love my sister and, you know, I, it's brave of her for her to, you know, go forth and, and, and because like Ryan Murphy is a big, is a big entity, but bitch, I mean, it is what it is. She said that they motherfucking did what they did and bitch, that's how she feel what was done to her old motherfucker where she said, if it's up, then it's motherfucking up. And bitch, and that's where it's at, bitch. It's up and it's on the floor. Same motherfucking way I feel about when a when puss ass hoes be trying me. Bitch, if it's up, it's up. And if it's on the floor, it's on the floor. And if it's fuck your dirty motherfucking ass kids, bitch, it's fuck your dirty ass goddamn hungry motherfucker save a child ass fucking kids. It's fuck you. That's the way I feel. Anybody else in between and any of that stuff that don't that don't agree with that, that's on you. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Because if if I don't think Angelica would be in that place, I don't think Angelica would be in that place if she wasn't tried. And I think people really don't look at bitches trying you to put you in a place like that. So if she feel like a bitch tried her. If she feel like a bitch try her, then this that's that's it's up. Anyway, but that's just I stand ten toes down on that. Anyway, let's go on to the next thing. <laughs> 